Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about comparing and ordering numbers. So sometimes we're faced with all sorts of different numbers in different formats, as you may say, that we need to put in some sort of order, least to greatest, greatest to least, something like that. But it's not always very easy because well, every one of these numbers looks pretty different. So we have to be able to know how to take these numbers and convert them into a common format, a common way of writing. And what I would recommend is almost every number we have, we know how to turn into a decimal. And it's pretty easy to order decimals. So whenever we're looking at all sorts of different types of numbers, let's find a way to turn them into a decimal. The easiest way is gonna be using a calculator, right? So let's take some of these and figure out what we would get. Two over five. If you had that number and you put it into a calculator, you would get out 0 0.4. So I've converted one number. Now my next number, 5.8 times 10 to the negative second. We can't exactly put scientific notation in the calculator quite as easy as we can just convert it ourselves. So I'm kind of of the opinion to just convert this ourselves. So I'm gonna write uh, five and eight. I'm gonna think, okay, my decimal was here and I need to move it two spots over to the left because it's negative. So one and two. I'm gonna have one zero there and I'm gonna have a decimal here, 0 0.058. All right, that one's done. The square root of three, this is one of those that you're just gonna to wanna to plug into your calculator. So that is 1.73. We have a percentage. As we know with percentages, to convert those to decimals, you just take where that decimal currently is, right here after the number, and move it over two spots, right? So 0 0.06. There's our decimal for 6%. 4 over 9, well, that's going to turn into what? 0.44444 repeating. So I'll just write that as 0.4 with that line over it. And that means the 4 just keeps on going forever. And then 2 to the negative first. This actually might be the hardest one. I mean, you could put it in a calculator, but let's think about it a little bit mathematically. A negative exponent tells us that uh, this is in the wrong side of the fraction, right? So this would be two over one. The negative exponent would tell us, hey, take this whole thing and flip it down there, right? So we would have one over two to the first, or just one over two after we move that to the denominator. And we know one over two, if we go ahead and divide that into a calculator or something, is 0.5. So let's say we wanna order these from smallest to largest. It's pretty easy to be able to pick out what the largest number here is. Of course, it's 1.73. Like we have, you know, a whole number there. We have a one. This is the only one of those that's larger than one. So of these one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, from least to greatest, we know this is number six, the biggest one. Now let's take a look and see what the smaller ones are. What you always want to do is, the way you can think about this is the more zeros you see after the decimal, like immediately after the decimal, the smaller the number is. Of course, 0 0.05 is smaller than 0.4. Even though five is a bigger number than four, this is like zero five as opposed to four zero technically. It's like five compared to 40, right? So the smallest number we have, we have two of them that start with a zero after the decimal. We have 0 0.05 and 0 0.06. Well, five is smaller than six. So this is actually gonna be our smallest number. So there's number one, the least. And that other number with the zero in front of it here, well, that's gonna be the the second smallest, so uh, that will be number two in our order. Now we have a couple left, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 repeating, 
and 0.5. Well, we can tell 0.5 is going to be bigger than either of those, right? That's just logic. Those start with a 4, this one starts with a 5, it's bigger. So that's going to be in our fifth place. And we just have to figure out which one of these is 3, which one is 4 in our ordering. So let's think about this realistically, because these numbers kind of look the same. So this is 0.4. So like I said before, kind of like 0.40. It's like 40 if we were to relate it to an actual whole number. But this is point four repeating. And what does repeating mean? It means that it is that over and over and over and over again. It's kind of like point four, 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 four. So now when you look at these, which one is bigger? Yeah, this one is bigger because point four, four or 44 is a bigger number than 40. So this one's smaller, this takes our three spot and this would take our four. So we have our smallest, next up, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, smallest to largest. If you have any questions about this or have a couple of numbers your own that, of your own that you're trying to you know, put in order, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys next time.